This is my newly designed larger quadcopter. The power system that this quad uses has been in three different frame configurations. The first being the Flight Test H quad, which I figured I could improve upon with my own design. This design fixed a lot of the issues I had with the H quad, but with that it introduced its own problems. My old design was too big, it was wobbly and not stiff. The base plate was made of acrylic, which shattered and wasn't very good at all. It had a very bad landing gear, which I gave up on in the end, and it was using a KK2 board, which is terrible. Also, because it was bigger, the props were harder to get out of view without having to put a ridiculously large pole through the middle. My newer quad is smaller, more compact, stronger, not made from acrylic. It has stiffer, shorter arms. It has a power distribution board for soldering your ESCs and any other power accessories to. It uses a Naze 32 flight controller, which is way better than the KK2 board, and it has a proper removable landing gear. As you can see, with only four screws, the whole bottom assembly is removed very easily. Oh. Eventually I will have a vibration isolated section, which will hold the battery, gimbal and camera. This quadcopter is definitely more solidly built than the previous quadcopters that I have built. It still uses DT750 motors and 11x47 props, a 2200mA 3 cell and 25A plush ESCs. All the ESCs are now soldered to a power distribution board which made the build a lot easier without having wires everywhere. It uses lock nuts to hold the propellers on rather than just normal nuts, meaning that the propellers will not just fly off in mid-flight, causing you to crash, which is why my GoPro stopped working the other day when I crashed with the old frame design. I am extremely happy with how this design turned out. It is way more solidly built, more compact, and it is just better in every way compared to my other quadcopter designs. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.